Hey guys, welcome back to Coins and Crypto. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Core Wallet by Avalanche. Now, this wallet is used for the Avalanche network and AVAX token and anything else on Avalanche that you're going to use uh, in DeFi, meme coins, etc. So let's hop right into this. You got to go to join.core.app to get the wallet. And if you guys want to verify that, I'll have that link down below. But if you guys ever want to verify how to find a wallet or a website for an app or anything like that, you can come to Twitter and find their official page and, and kind of double check. Always be wary when you search on Google. Make sure, make sure things uh, are correct and not a scam. So here we are at join.core.app. Gonna go down. You got a couple options, but we're gonna download for Chrome here or whatever browser you're using. Go ahead and add to Chrome. Add extension. And now we're gonna get into the little extension up here, and you can pin that. I'll pin it for this video. There it is. Uh, but I'll pin it. Uh, we're gonna show up here. All right, there it is. Okay, so uh, you don't have to pin it, I just like to. So the next thing you're gonna need to do is, again, a few options. Two of these I don't suggest. You can sign up with your Apple ID or Google ID. I don't like connecting any of my IDs to a wallet. So we're gonna be doing recovery phrase. And if you already have a wallet, you just hit, I already have a wallet. You're gonna enter your recovery, your seed phrase, and then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and hit recovery phrase. Now we're gonna get 24 letters here, 24 words. Copy this, um, if you want, you can paste it in Word or Notepad and then put that Word or Notepad on a USB thumb drive or external hard drive or something that's not connected to the internet. I suggest writing it down. Uh, you don't want anybody to be able to access these because if they do, they can get your wallet. If they get your wallet, they get your funds. So it's very, very important that you don't keep this in a picture or anything like that on, on your phone or on your computer while it's connected to the internet. So. Once you've written it down, and you guys can pause if you need to, write all these down, do whatever you gotta do, hit I understand, hit next, and now you're gonna have to prove that you wrote it down. So you have to enter the word after whatever word they give you. I'll go ahead and do that real quick on mine, and this is gonna be blurred out, so you guys won't be able to see it. I, if, I, if you guys could, you could potentially get my wallet or something, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's see here, all right. And with 24 words, their security is pretty decent. All right, so now that you've proven that you wrote it down, you saved it, you're gonna enter your wallet name. We'll just call this for me, Core YouTube. Yep, there it is, perfect. We'll call it, yeah, Core YouTube one. I've made one of these before, so remembers what I wrote. All right, so here you enter a password, and this password is specific only to this extension. So if you have this on another computer, you can still use the same wallet, and you could actually still use the same password, but you're going to have to retype that password in when you create the wallet. Otherwise, you could use a different password if you want. So I'll go ahead and type mine in real quick. All right, passwords match. Let's agree. You can hit save at this point. Now you can choose if you want to help improve core or not. Sure, I will. It's fine to hit no. All right, and now you're taken to core.app, and this is kind of the hub for, for your Avalanche and your wallet here. So some important things to note is that Avalanche runs on three chains. They've got their P chain, their C chain, and their X chain. And you are, by default, on the C chain. This is where all the smart contracts go. Um, actually, we got a, I got a page here, and I'll put the link to this down below too. You've got your contract chain C, your ex exchange chain X. So um, if you're sending money, you can do it on X, but DeFi does not happen here. Most of what you're going to do, almost all what you're going to do is going to be on the C chain. The P chain, you can do some staking and things like that. And if you need to change, you can come over here to core.app. Over on the left, you got stake, right? You can hit cross chain transfer. You go from C chain to P chain or X chain, and then you just confirm transfer and you go from there. Really easy. So. That's all there is to it. It's very, very easy to use. Um, just open it up here, kind of go through a couple things. You can, if you have multiple accounts, you can select them here. You've got your address book, uh, languages, some advanced things, some security. You can show your recovery, change password, everything else. You can lock it if you need to. Then right here, you can change between Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
whatever else you got going on. So got some DeFi transactions, collectible assets. So very easy wallet to use. If you want to fill your wallet with some AVAX, you copy your address right here. You send that to wherever Coinbase, Kraken, Robinhood, whatever you're using. Get that over there, paste it in. When you do your withdrawal from, from your exchange, paste this address in, and then it's going to come to your wallet here. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. If you guys could, like and favorite the, the video down below. Have a good one.